Hey everybody, it's Amanda. Um, I guess this will be my first pregnancy vlog. Um, tomorrow I will be five weeks. And um, I guess basically I'm still not feeling any different. Um, right now I'm, I'm kind of congested and kind of stuffy. Um, that's kind of why I sound like I do. Um, <clears throat> Uh, let's see, it's been about a week and a half since we found out that we're pregnant, and, um, I guess the biggest complaint I have is that I'm really tired, um, like, super exhausted, and I feel like I've run a marathon, and, um, I guess... Yesterday or um, a couple of days ago, um, my boobs started kind of getting a little tender, but um, up until then, I haven't really felt anything. Um, the day after I found out, I got so sick. Not like morning sickness, which I haven't had any morning sickness, thank God. Um, <clears throat> but I got like... Stuffy nose, runny nose, my throat was killing me. Um, my temperature was up a little bit. At one point, it had gotten up to like a hundred point two or something like that. <clears throat> my body hurt. Like, I was worried I was getting the flu, but I've already had a flu shot this year, which I don't usually get flu shots. The past couple of years has kind of been the first time that I've kind of started to get them, um, <clears throat> but I got the flu shot like two months ago, so I knew it couldn't have been that, and um, I was so scared to take any kind of medicine just because it's so early, and I thought maybe I can just be miserable through the sickness, and um, it'll go away on its own. <clears throat> um... So, I had already made an appointment with, um, the new doctor that I'm going to go see. Um, I see him on December 13th. Um, he doesn't see you once you're pregnant until eight weeks, <clears throat> which, I mean... I guess that's, like, a good thing because you really can't see anything on an ultrasound until at least six weeks. I mean, and even then, there's hardly anything there. So, I guess, I mean, I don't know what his reasoning is for eight weeks. I guess if you, once you reach eight weeks, you have more of a chance of um, <clears throat> going full term and not miscarrying or anything like that. Um, so... We see him on December 13th. That's about 22 days away. Yeah, I'm counting. Um, let's see. Uh, I've already scheduled our announcement pictures the Sunday after the um, doctor's appointment. We go to the doctor on Friday and our pictures are on Sunday. Um... <clears throat> We haven't really told anybody. There's a, like a select few that know, um, but we're going to keep it to ourselves until, um, until Christmas. Um, we plan on having the pictures taken and then choosing our favorite um, pose or whatever and having it enlarged and framed. And then giving that to our parents as the announcement and their Christmas gift. <clears throat> so, um, I'm excited to see the looks on everybody's face. Because some people know we've been trying and some people don't know that we've been trying for as long as we have. And, um, my parents live in Nevada. Um, we're in Alabama, so, um, we've booked our flight to see my parents a few days after Christmas <clears throat> so we will be flying to Nevada 
on December the 28th and um, we'll be there for about a week. So we'll just celebrate Christmas once we're there and they'll get their gift then and we'll announce it to them when we get there, I guess. So it's going to be really hard keeping it in, keeping it to myself. That's why I had to tell, you know, a couple of people I saw I got to have somebody to talk to about it. Um, <clears throat> other than that, uh, we're not really, I mean, nothing really has changed. I mean, I'm looking forward to, um, I'm not, I don't want to wish my pregnancy away or, you know, like quickly. Um, but I, I am excited for things to start happening. Um, <clears throat> I'm anxious to go to the first doctor's appointment and see our baby for the first time, hear the heartbeat, um, just see how everything is going and make sure that, um, he or she is growing like they should, am I on schedule, all that fun stuff. Um, one thing that I know a lot of people, as soon as they're pregnant, they want to get blood tests, <clears throat> HCG, betas, whatever. Um, my doctor did not do that, which it would have been interesting to know what my numbers were on certain days and whatnot, but I think it's kind of helped me relax. I'm not obsessing over how high my HCG count was and was it as high as this person's and is it good, is is it bad, what. Um, so I'm kind of glad that we didn't do any kind of beta blood test or anything. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I guess that's it mostly. I mean, we're just kind of waiting now to go to the doctor, have our pictures made. Um, Thanksgiving is coming up next week, and so we'll be around all the family, and I don't know how we're going to keep it in. Um, it's kind of, it's always in the front of my mind, but it's also kind of in the back of my mind, because nothing really has changed much. Um, I haven't really had much morning sickness. I got kind of nauseous earlier for the first time, really. Um, like I said, <clears throat> my boobs kind of started to get tender. And, um, then I've got this stuffy, ugh, head cold type stuff. And then, um, I get, like, light cramps here and there. Um, no bleeding, no spotting, no nothing. So, um, that's always a good thing. And, um, I guess until... We see the doctor, I'll just update sporadically if something happens or, you know, anything like my symptoms change. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, we will be putting the Christmas tree up this weekend. Um, don't judge me if you don't put yours up until after Thanksgiving, but I like to look at my Christmas tree for longer than just a few weeks, so... Um, we're going to be putting the tree up and getting the house ready for the holidays. And um, we'll have Thanksgiving next week and then it's going to be the Christmas rush. So we will um, just play it by ear and see how things go. And um, I will update you guys when something new happens or we've seen the doctor and I have ultrasound pictures or, um, you know, and, and any kind of other news. So, um, <clears throat> baby dust to everybody out there still trying. And congrats to everybody that's gotten their BFPs. November is looking like a busy month for BFPs. So, summer babies are coming. Um, until then, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.